Okay, so wake up, empty the bag. I always get uh, ready to do a workout in the morning, so we have a little bit of pre-workout here. And I do notice that if I chug anything, it goes through me a lot faster. So most of the time I will have to empty my bag again, especially if I'm gonna be doing any sort of abdominal work or you know, having to like even do yoga where you're laying on your stomach for any sort of length of time. I like to make sure that my bag is as empty as possible before doing any workout. So I will finish this probably empty it again and then we will start. Okay, pre-workout done. We're gonna go with <laughs> okay, 610. We're about to empty our bag before working out because like I told you before, we want this to be as flat as possible if you're gonna be doing any sort of like on your belly type work because I think of it like this. If I'm gonna be putting pressure on the bag and there's any sort of like air or liquid in there, I just feel like there's a chance it could pop. I don't know how true that is, but that's just my thought. All right, let's do this and then we'll get to the workout. Okay, showered, washed my hair, um, it's 7.22. I am going to have a little bit of guacamole and some chips. And that's kind of my like little post-workout before breakfast because I have to actually do a couple things. Um, I am doing a daily Facebook Live. I'm like, how do I say that? <laughs> a daily Facebook Live for my makeup company. Um, so I get ready on there and show the different products. So uh, I always go live on there 7.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, have a little snack and then after that I'll actually make breakfast. So stay tuned. All right, ready to go live. We've got our makeup station set up. All done with our Facebook Live. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to eat breakfast because I am starving. <laughs> hey, oh, crazy hair. I'm air drying it because I feel like I get better volume that way. So for breakfast I have Toast, two eggs, a half of an avocado, and then some salsa on the top. Oh, with melted cheese on the bottom too. Yay. All right, so this is meal number one pretty much for today. <laughs> Outfit change again, because I got cold. <laughs> this is three hours after I ate breakfast. So it's the bag is pretty full. I do feel like I want to change it today, but I wanted to show you how I determine um, like when to empty it. So um, as you can see, it's, it's about like halfway full. I try not to let it get too full. The only time that it really gets completely like enlarged is at night, like when I'm sleeping and I'll wake up with it like that. But um, yeah, I wanna go ahead and change this whole bag completely because as you can see, I've got like the fuzzies from my leggings that I wear pretty much every day. <laughs> and I can just, I feel like it's time to change it because it's been on for I think four days now. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a full change, but first we're going to empty it out because I don't want it spilling anywhere. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, my bag is empty and we're doing a full bag change. So if you don't wanna see this part, just skip ahead. I will put um, the timestamp that I uh, get it finished in. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in.
Okay, we're back in the kitchen. It's time for lunch. It's about 2.30. I ate a later breakfast today, so everything else is kind of pushing later. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and make a smoothie and also nachos, because I wanna like drink something healthy with like fruits and all of that, but then I also want something crunchy. <laughs> so instead of making a lunch, I, this is what I'm doing. Um, let me just turn you around really quick. Okay, so I have everything out. We're gonna go ahead with just some vanilla whey protein. We've got some cherry berry blend of uh, frozen fruit, almond milk, Greek yogurt. I like to put a little bit of peanut butter in my smoothies because I just love peanut butter and I love the way it tastes. And then that way it gives me a little boost of extra protein as well. And then we've got spinach in there. I had this bag and I, you know, like usual, forgot to use it in time. So I froze it before they got too bad and it works great for putting in smoothies. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make some nachos if I can find chips and then I've got salsa with it. Um, cheese really helps to like bind up your stool. So if you feel like your output is too watery, cheese is my go-to. I either eat it by the handful <laughs> or whatnot. Um, I'm sure there's other options too, but cheese is like my quickest fix for too watery of output. So anyway, let's make it. Voila, smoothie, nachos. I didn't have a ton of chips, but this will do. And salsa, woo. It's four o'clock now and I'm hungry again. <laughs> we're going to a baseball game tonight. So I know we're gonna either eat at the baseball field or on the way. And so that's kind of why I've, you know, eaten just kind of lightly throughout the day because I know we'll probably splurge on something that's maybe not as healthy or something like that. But I need a little snack to get me through. So I'm gonna go with some classic hummus and pretzel crisps. Okay, you know what's really crazy is I feel like my bag is much more noticeable than it is. Like you can see it, but it's really not that noticeable. When I look down, I'm like, well, maybe even now too. It's not as noticeable, but I just feel like it is, you know, from my perspective. Um, I would probably empty it again here. I just want to show you when I kind of like get the feeling to. So excuse me while I take out my bag, but you know. <laughs> okay, so if you can see... It is probably, it's a little bit thicker output because I did have all that cheese, you know? Um, so it's about half full. So yeah, I would say it is time to empty it again. It just starts to get like, if it gets too heavy, it like pulls on my belly and I don't like that. So that's why we're, we're emptying it again. Hey, we are ready for the baseball game tonight. I changed a little bit here. What I always do whenever I'm gonna go somewhere, whether it's a concert, a game, or really anything at all, um, I typically will empty my bag before I leave and then once I get to where, whatever the venue is, I typically will empty it as soon as I get there too. It just gives me peace of mind. So one, I know where the bathroom is, but then two, I can be, you know, flat in the ostomy bag area and then I'm not thinking about it as much. So um, it just allows me to enjoy the event more right off the bat. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, that's what I plan to do. So we're gonna go ahead and empty it today. I already lost count, so thank God I'm keeping up with the counter here because I don't know how, how many times it's been. <laughs> all right, oh, and it is about 5.30 p.m. And so I'll let you know what else I eat today and how many more times I change my bag. All right, let's get it. I also realized that I haven't really been sharing how much I've been drinking as far as water goes. So I've already finished one of these today and I'm on to my second one. Um, I'm really, I used to be really good at drinking water and I feel like I've slowed down a lot on that. So I'm trying to be more mindful of it. I love having these little tumblers with a straw. I feel like it kind of helps me remember to drink more throughout the day. <laughs> All right, off to the baseball game. Okay, so home from the baseball game, I did empty my bag one more time right as we were leaving the arena, and then, is that right? Astrodome? I don't know what to call it. Yeah, but what's the thing that they play in? Minute Maid Park. A dome? What is it called? It's just Minute Maid Stadium. It's a stadium. Yeah. What do they call it? Minute Maid Park, actually. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I said that we left the... The ballpark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the arena, that's what I called it. Yeah. Whatever, same thing. 
So now we're back home. I've got pajama pants on. Now I always try to size up for pajama pants, make sure they're very stretchy in the waistband because I feel like for myself, my bag tends to fill the most during the nighttime, probably because I'm sleeping for the longest period of time. But anyway, I just usually make sure that it's very stretchy, gives my bag room to expand because in the mornings, as you saw earlier today, it is very full. So I'll have the final count of how many times I emptied my bag. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time before I go to bed so that it is completely emptied out and ready for a night of sleep. All right, thank you so much for following me along today. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.